Hi, I'm David. Welcome to Wildlife in Focus. This episode is everything you need to know about the red squirrel. The red squirrel is a native species in the United Kingdom, with records supporting that they have been resident in our forests for several thousands of years. Similarly, with many other mammals, mankind has hunted them both for food and sport, and it was prevalent up to the year 1927. The biggest impact, however, was the introduction of grey squirrels into the UK from North America in 1876. The gentry favoured grey squirrels as an ornamental species to grace their stately homes. This practice continued up to 1930, at which point the damage caused by this non-native species was recognised and the release of grey squirrels into the wild was made illegal. Whilst there is no direct conflict between the two squirrel species, the grey squirrel is more adaptable to our climate. They have more body fat than the reds, and their diet is more varied. The main impact of grey squirrels on the red squirrel is that the greys carry the squirrel pox virus as well as other diseases. This has proved fatal to our native red population. Consequently, numbers have dwindled dramatically. It is only Scotland that remains a stronghold for the Reds, whereby localised initiatives have helped to stabilise the population. However, mammal society data indicates that there is likely a Red Squirrel population reduction year on year. The Red Squirrel is classified as endangered in England and Wales and near-threatened in Scotland. It is estimated that around 160,000 red squirrels remain in the UK and that 75% of these are resident in Scotland. Red squirrels are protected by law and may not be intentionally trapped, killed or kept or have their drays disturbed except under licence. Red squirrels' diet is mainly made up of seeds and nuts. Pine seeds are a particular favourite as are hazelnut, spruce and larch. As well as nuts and seeds, they are known to eat young tree shoots, bark, fungi and lichen. They will also eat animal matter such as eggs and chicks, though this tends to be opportunistic as opposed to predatory behaviour. Red squirrels are reliant on a range of habitats, including both broadleaf and coniferous woodland. They spend around 75% of their time in trees, where they feed, nest and breed. Therefore, reds need mature woodland areas to be able to survive as well as sufficient connectivity between woodland to be able to thrive. Diurnal in nature, they are extremely active throughout the day. They favour building their nests, also called drays, in twists of branches in conifers, though they are not averse to nesting in purpose-built man-made nest boxes. They typically line their drays with a combination of grass, hair and moss. During the winter and spring, both males and females will share the dray. However, when the females are raising young, the males fend for themselves away from the females. Depending on the abundance of food as well as the weather, red squirrels can start breeding in the winter and will continue to do so well into the summer. When females are ready to breed, this is the best time to observe squirrels chasing each other through the trees and making impressive leaps from branch to branch. Females can breed up to twice per year and can have up to three youngsters which are weaned after 10 weeks. Whilst they are named red squirrels, their fur colour varies between bright ginger, brown, red and even grey during the winter. During the winter months, their ear tufts are more prevalent. Their body size is 240 mm with a tail up to 175 mm. Adults weigh up to around 350 grams, whilst juveniles are around half this. They live for up to six years in the wild. Raptors are the primary predators of the red squirrel, including buzzards and ghost hawks. They are also predated by foxes as well as domestic cats. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you want to see more like this. It really helps the channel.